hallo meine lieben Zuschauer und herzlich willkommen zu einer neuen Folge zu Fire Emblem Engage. Wenn euch das Video gefällt, dann lasst ein Abo und ein Like da und ich wünsche euch jetzt viel Spaß mit dem Video. Ja moin Leute ne? und herzlich willkommen zurück zu einer weiteren Folge von Fire Emblem Engage, den Dämonenwelt DSC und dem wahrscheinlich letzten Part, naja eigentlich wirklich den letzten Part zu diesem Spiel, das ist der finale Kampf. In der Dämonenwelt. Die vier Winde sind letztes Mal gefallen. Null hat Nell entführt. Und jetzt müssen wir Nell vor Null retten. Was er sich davon erhofft, keine Ahnung von dem, was er da treibt. Aber bevor wir mit dem Kapitel anfangen, über mir ist ein letztes Mal ein Zeitstempel für dieses Spiel, wenn ihr die Bandgespräche überspringen wollt. Und wir sehen uns dann gleich im letzten Kapitel wieder. Divine One. Before you retire to your chambers, a word. Uh-oh. What did I do this time? It is so very like you not to know. I noticed your efforts to shield me from harm in the last battle. And I am appreciative. In doing so, however, you sustained an injury. So you noticed. I did take a hit, but it was nothing serious. Even a superficial wound can be quite painful. Allow me to treat it. Oh. Thank you. A certain other divine dragon I knew was also nonchalant about injuries, and always quick with empathy. The focus was always outward, on the well-being of others. As the irreplaceable centerpiece of this army, you must be more mindful of your condition. I get it. I'm sorry. I'll be more careful. It is easy to speak the words of such an oath. Harder to support the words with action. <laughs> you never let up, do you? You know now, I've been meaning to ask. How similar am I to the Divine Dragon you knew in your world? Why the sudden interest? I've actually been wondering for a while. When you saved my life back in your world, you said that you couldn't bear to lose me. Does that mean... To you, am I... When you look at me, are you actually seeing the Divine Dragon you knew before? The wound is clean. And it is healing nicely. You should take this day to rest and recover. Farewell for now. Thanks, Nell. I will. Good night. We meet again, little prince. Perhaps you will indulge me in conversation once more. It would be my pleasure. Your talk of Brodia piqued my interest. I wish to know more about your kingdom. So I took it upon myself to travel to the castle town and gather information. You went all the way to Brodia Castle? For a dragon, it is not far. Discretion was the greater challenge, but I did go unnoticed. I'll take your word for it. What did you learn? I heard much talk of the young Prince Diamant, who will someday become a splendid king. There seemed to be little doubt that his reign would be even greater than his father's. <sighs> Perhaps it is strange for me to say, but it pleased me very much to hear these things. Thank you, Lady Nell. But I really can't accept the compliment. Explain. It's nice to hear I have a good reputation, but imagine for argument's sake that I don't. Suppose that all you heard in your time at the castle was what a terrible king I'd make. If that was what everyone was saying, would you accept the rumor without question? Certainly not. And I suppose you intend to say that such rumors cannot be assumed true. Exactly. If you want to judge whether I'd be a good king, you should do it with your own eyes. You are right. It was careless of me to make such an assumption. I know you were only trying to be nice. I hope I didn't offend. I took no offense. And what you said was precisely correct. But since you suggested it, I have indeed decided to take the measure of you myself. So be advised. These eyes will judge whether you have the makings of a worthy king. <laughs> I wouldn't have it any other way. Until then, Lady Nell, I will be sure to put my best foot forward. <laughs> Such melancholy is uncharacteristic of you, Princess Demera. Oh. Hey, Lady Nell. Perhaps you should consider roasting up some meat. After all, your step requires pep. You remembered! That's so sweet! The truth is, 
I'm feeling a little down about my singing lately. Explain. Some folks passed by while I was building a fire earlier. They said some stuff. What's that horrible sound? I think my ears are bleeding. That kind of thing. Inexcusable. Oh, that's not what bugged me. What bothered me was wondering if you also thought that stuff, but were too polite to say. Now I'm worried you're just putting up with my singing to be nice. <sighs> Sorry, I'm a big dummy. Indeed, you are a very large dummy. What? I cherish your singing with all my heart. Each song you sing is a special treasure that I will experience nowhere else. You must understand, we dragons live a very long time. Thousands of years. I know. Even the mind of a dragon is unable to retain the whole of such a lengthy interval of time. And so, many of our memories, beginning with the least noteworthy, fade away and are lost. That is why, to me, a memorable song is more valuable than any amount of singing skill. The recollection of your music will endure in my mind for hundreds, perhaps thousands of years. Wow. That's quite a compliment, Lady Nell. Thank you. Do you feel any better? Oh yeah, loads better. Being down in the dumps really isn't my style anyway. Now, I gotta sing my heart out every time I see you. That way you'll never forget me. <laughs> there is no need to concern yourself about that. The memory of you is etched forever on my mind. <laughs> Good. But that doesn't mean I'm gonna stop making up new songs. Oh, but I've got one for you now. I call it Riding the Flavor Wave. Ready to hear it? Naturally. Are you tired, Lady Vale? You don't look well. Do you think so? I feel fine. Were you injured in the battle earlier? Does anything hurt? I'm not injured. Look, fit as a fiddle. Although, my nose is a little... <laughs> oh no, you must be chilly. We should warm you up before you catch a cold. Hmm, there's no blanket here. Well, that's all right, I can just give you a hug. What? Mage dragons have a naturally high body temperature. Don't worry, this is sure to help. I... I don't want... Stop it! That's enough! Don't come any closer! <sighs> I... I'm sorry. No, I should be sorry. It was rude of me to be so forward, even if I just want to take care of you. You have my sincere apologies. It's not that. It's just that you look so much like someone I used to know. I can explain a little more, if you have the time to listen. Of course. Long ago, I had a retainer. She was a mage dragon like you. She would treat me kindly and listen to me the same way you do. I thought maybe she and I could be friends. I really liked her. But then we were forced to fight on opposite sides. And that was the end of any friendship. I know you're not her. But you look so much alike that seeing you brings back memories. I understand. Thank you for sharing something so personal with me. I'll, um... I'll try not to be so forward in the future. When you're feeling up to it, could you tell me more about this? Yes. I'm sorry to be this way after you've been so kind to me, Celestia. Thank you. How are you, Madeline? Are you adjusting to this world? I was uneasy at first, but I'll say I am feeling more comfortable on and off the battlefield. It makes me happy to hear that. Try not to push yourself too hard, all right? I'm concerned because, well, you often overdo it. Celestia, now that we're in this new world, I'd appreciate it if you stopped babying me. Really, there's no need to worry. I'm not overdoing anything. Well, I suppose I don't need to nag too much. There are others here also watching out for you. Yes, even the people of this world, 
Despite my being new here, I'm grateful for their hospitality. It hardens my determination to work on their behalf and match their kindness. Look at you being so ceremonious. <laughs> it reminds me of Mavir. Huh? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to... It's all right. You just caught me off guard. I won't deny that my speech and manners resemble his. He was my mentor, after all. After my parents' death, it was he who took me in and trained me for battle. I was so surprised when the two of you came to Lethos. I thought you were his daughter. Hmm. Brother and sister I could see, but not father and daughter. Oh, dear. What time is it? As much as I'd love to continue reminiscing, I ought to go train. Let's pick this up later, shall we? <laughs> well, she is growing up to become a fine young woman. Emblem Lin. King Hyacinth used your power to wound and capture my father. I... I can't. I understand. And I'm sorry. I was under the Fell Dragon's power. I know that's of little comfort. I envy the royal family of Solm. You seem so close-knit. Alas, my family was taken from me. Oh, that's so sad, Sigurd. I can't imagine not being able to see my family. I know it's not the same, but I hope you'll think of us as your family now. Thank you, Tamara. That warms my heart. I shall never forget the bonds between us. The way you handled yourself in battle tells me you're well trained. I never miss a day of training. My parents were excellent knights. I want to make them proud. Emblem Claude informs me that you are incredibly self-reliant. Almost to a fault, he believes it would be good for you to rely more upon your allies. I am inclined to agree. I suppose that's true enough. I've been told the same by many throughout my life. It's merely my intention not to inconvenience anyone. I will try to keep your words in mind. Your long, flowing hair is perfect for dancing. Would you dance with me outside of battle? Thank you, but I am not skilled at dancing. Though perhaps you would teach me? Do you wish to remain innocent, holding fast to the teachings you follow? Or will you seize victory, your hands stained with the blood of old friends? The most unbearable pain is now a fond memory, a desperate dream. But I know the truth. In this world, there is no eternity. Now is the time to awaken. I am reminded of when we were young. You always slept deeper and later than me. I would anxiously wait for you to awaken. Outside, the world was full of foes. I could do nothing on my own. I could not transform, no matter how I wished for it. I was a powerless whelp. A failure. I was convinced I would not survive long. You had... so little hope. You are awake. I would advise you not to consider transforming and fleeing. You will lose any part of you that moves from that spot. Please stop this, Nil. There is no reason to pursue power here. You cannot rule an empty world. You and I are all that remain. Power is purpose. This world means nothing to me. If it must be destroyed to achieve my ends, then so be it. But you would not understand that. You know nothing of weakness. 
of humiliation. That is all in the past. Your friends love you. Think of our time at Lethos Castle. All of us together, as a family. Thinking of that age of lies fills me with nothing but resentment. You cannot mean that. It is amusing to hear you say we were a family. The irony is so delicious, I simply must share. I am not your twin brother. <sighs> I took the place of young Nell when he and I were children. Your precious twin? The one you so yearned to protect that you fled our father and risked all? He has been dead for quite some time. <sighs> Do you see it now? You are alone. Your beloved divine dragon, the four winds, your real twin brother? All gone. <laughs> Isn't it wonderful? At last, we will face each other as true peers. And when that struggle finally ends, you can put an end to me. What? I have always been a miserable and lonely child. I cannot even recall the face of my own twin. I knew you would never forgive my deception. But for a time, I cherished being your new. You were so gentle and giving with me. <clears throat> so kind. I began to think of you as my one true sister. Even now, the memory of our time at Lethos Castle is priceless to me. But that treasure is a stolen one. And this pain... This pain is unbearable. So please, please put an end to my misery. What is this, Nil? Tell me what is happening. No. No! Put an end to my misery? Pathetic, laughable. Father laid his hand upon my chest. He named me his true heir. I cannot stop until his ambitions are fulfilled. Surely that is what he intended me to achieve. No, he would not call me his heir otherwise. Perhaps it was a trick or simple pity. I do not know. Curse this pain, it never ends. No, stay with me. I will prove my worth. I will avenge father, carry out his will. ...and become heir to the Fell Dragon legacy! So, the Somniel of this world has fallen. I guess I'm not surprised. Divine One, you came. I'm only here for Nell. Please, let her go. Dispel the ward on the final bracelet and I will consider it. The ward? What are you talking about? This is the bracelet of the Three Houses. A ward has been placed upon it, so that none may access its power. The emblems within cannot be roused, nor can the bracelet be moved from this location. So the Somniel fell from the sky, but it didn't knock the bracelet loose. Must be frustrating. Quite. The Divine Dragon told me about the ward just prior to the final battle against Father. It can only be broken by the one who placed it. And that fool is now dead. Which is why I could not become father's true heir. Not even with all seven bracelets. It was your arrival that rekindled my hope. I have long anticipated this moment. Because I can remove the ward. You can. And you will. Or I will slay now. Do not do this, Divine One. I have to. For you, Nell. It's done. Satisfied. <laughs> the last of the bracelets is finally in my hands. Awaken, emblems! Grant me my desire! At last, Father. I have finally succeeded! Ah! 
I've done what you asked. Now release Nell. Why would I do that now that I have what I want? Monster! <laughs> Farewell, wretched sister. No! That's quite enough! What is this? Celestia, Gregory, Madeline! Are you injured, Lady Nell? My winds. Words cannot express my relief. I am glad to see you well. Wait, where's Mavir? Divine One, Lady Nell. I'm so sorry. Mavir. Mavir is. What happened? The pillars have been destroyed. Now the temple will collapse. Goodbye, my dear family. Uh. Mavir? Did you. Is that a warp staff? Where's Celestia? Did you send her outside? This was always my intention. Why should all of us die when only one of us need remain here? You idiot! You can't warp yourself out with that! Give it over! If anyone's staying behind, it's me! Gregory, you are Celestia's new second-in-command. Serve her well. Why didn't you tell us, Mavir? Madeline, I wish you the greatest happiness. I see now that protecting you was my... Stop that! Stop saying goodbye! I thought we'd go together. I would not have to say this. Mavir, I love... There. It is done. I am sorry I had to deceive you all. You were my family. And I am grateful for every day we spent together. But that time is over. Now you must carry on without me. Lady Vale. I will be with you soon. No. Mavir. I can't believe it. A selfless, heroic sacrifice. He was a true knight until the end. To think I stilled only one of you awful wins. How are you alive? No matter. You are all detestable in the eyes of Lord Sombron. And you will perish here. No, Nil. We won't let you follow in Sombron's footsteps. We'll stop you from becoming his heir, whatever it takes. Wins, no! Yes, you may have killed one of us, but we are still a mighty Tempest. I won't back down. Mavir would tell me to be brave as the new second in command. When my liege walks down the wrong path, it's my duty to stop them. I'll do what I must. I cannot bear to lose any of you. Not one more person. Let this be our final battle. Brother. Please, you have to stop him. You can have all that remains of my power. This is... so much. Thank you. I will not fail. Ja, toll spielen und wenn ich mich um Verluste sorge, ich will sie nicht sterben lassen. Er hat ein extra Leben und er hat mehrere Techniken. Kann ich einen Dreck auf die anderen Viecher geben oder teleportiert der sich? Der wird sich höchstwahrscheinlich teleportieren zu diesen Siegefeldern. Okay, Elkwis äh, hier hat äh, äh, offenbar wieder einen neuen Auftritt. 
Wenn sie alle nochmal zurück... Vor allem, nee, nee, wenn ich jetzt gerade so drüber nachdenke, ne? Die Verzerrten haben mich als Verzerrten angesprochen. Okay. Ich muss jetzt aber erstmal meine Einheiten anpassen. Das heißt, bis in ein paar Sekunden. So, Leute, ich habe eine Weile gebraucht, um meine Truppen anzupassen, aber wir sind bereit. Ich denke mal nicht, dass wir nochmal ein Selbstgespräch mit den Charakteren haben werden, die jetzt ein weiteres Mal wieder belebt wurden als Verzerrte, wenn ich sie jetzt mit ihren Counterparts hier konfrontiere. Also habe ich jetzt mal darauf gepfiffen, ich hätte so oder so nicht alle äh, von denen mitnehmen können. This terrain is unstable. We should hurry toward that island to the northwest. Okay, seinen Bereich anzeigen, wie ich es bei Sombron getan hatte. So, ich habe was Schönes gerade eben gelesen, während ich hier die Truppen angepasst habe. Nämlich, Liberation kriege ich nämlich plus 30 Angriff, wenn ich äh, Nil damit angreife. Und es macht trotzdem keinen Damage. My wish has finally come true. I suppose I should thank you, Divine One. This world will fall, and it is all because of you. You're right. All of this happened because I came here. And by removing the ward on the final bracelet, I may have doomed this place for good. But I was summoned here to save you. As long as there's hope for that, I won't give up. I require no saving. It is enough for me to watch you die, knowing you destroyed this world. I'm not here for the world. I'm here for the people in it. I'm here because someone wished for your salvation, even if it meant the world would end. Don't you see? There are people who love you. If I have to defeat you to make that clear, I will. <laughs> Was muss ich tun, damit er mehr Schaden kriegt? Wahrscheinlich die ganzen Embleme einsammeln. Ich glaube, vorher werde ich ihm keinen Schaden machen. Sandsturm? Ja. Sandsturm enttäuscht mich nicht. So, du als nächster. By the four winds. So, ich habe auch mal Mauvier hier ins Team geholt. Ich dachte mir, er muss einfach mitkämpfen. So, dann rette ich mich mal dort, wenn ich schon einen Rettungsstab kriege. Der heilt sich auch. Es macht keinen Sinn, ihn anzugreifen. Könnt ihr die bitte Gregory in Ruhe lassen? Was? Enemy reinforcements will be coming from that vortex. Let us disrupt it. And all others like it. Okay. Einfach draufstellen, okay. Okay, er macht Louis äh, keinen Schaden so wirklich. 
Würde ich mit dem Zwillingsschlag eigentlich Damage machen? Nö. Ich muss wirklich seine Verteidigung erstmal irgendwie brechen. So, ich habe gehört, wir machen einen Astersturm. Auf einen der Knieche hier. Nämlich auf diesen Knietsch. Weg mit dir. Der hat hier viel weniger Leben als in den vorherigen Gebieten. Oh Leute, ich sehe hier gerade was. Äh, Nell hat eine neue Fähigkeit hier auf einmal dabei. Dunkle Arcana. Ein Magieangriff. Klingt nach Spaß. Ich habe da oben übrigens Elfie aktiviert. Mir Diamant angreift, überspringe ich mal. Ihr kriegt jetzt sowieso eins auf den Deckel. Ich weiß nicht mal, wie man Schaden macht. Aua. Hortensia kommt zu mir. Aber erstmal wird hier aufgeräumt. Nope. So, ich äh, schicke dich da mal ins Jenseits zurück, ne? Ich habe übrigens mit Temera gerade eben ausprobiert, ihn anzugreifen und da passiert nichts. Also, die reagieren aber zumindest offenbar bei mir. Also sollte ich sie alle, Ben, hinrichten. Den packe ich einfach mal in den Vorrat. So, dann mache ich mal den nächsten fertig. Ich hoffe, dass äh, Hortensia dann Diamant angreift. Damit ich äh, Hortensia angreifen kann. So, du kriegst auch einen Speer jetzt ins Gesicht. Aber ist der jetzt schwächer geworden? Everyone's gone, even the divine dragon, and no one's coming back. Du bist auch nicht am Leben. Nein. So, dann greife ich mal äh, die alte an. Auch wenn ich keinen Schaden mache. Divine Divine 
You're on my side, right, Divine One? You have to be. So why are you standing in my way? Ich weiß, dass ich keinen Damage mache. Ich wollte nur das Gespräch. Jetzt kann ich dich mit Ragnell vernichten. Maybe now we can all be together again. Maybe Ivy will finally be glad to see me. So, du als nächstes. Ivy kommt ja gerade schon zu mir. So, ich kann immer noch überreiten, meine werten Freunde. Ist mein Blitz. Ich weiß, ich sage sehr unterschiedliche Sachen. So, ich möchte jetzt mal dunkle Arcana sehen. Ist ja nicht mal ansatzweise anders als der andere Angriff. So. Die machen wir dann jetzt auch weg. Eigentlich sind hier äh, nur die mit den Emblemen wichtig. Wir machen den Typen halt sonst keinen Schaden. Leuchtet ein dunkler Siegel, wird sich Dämonen nie dorthin bewegen. Jedoch nicht ohne zuvor alles an seinem aktuellen Standort zu verheeren. Explosion erfolgt in der nächsten Gegnerphase. Alle Einheiten im Gebiet, egal ob Feinde oder Verbündete, fallen hier zum Opfer. Je mehr Einheiten Dämonen hier auf diese Weise besiegt, desto mächtiger wird er. Okay, nicht in dem Bereich dann stehen. Not possible. And yet, how are you here? Zum Glück ist Magie nicht so seine Stärke. I should be overjoyed to see a child of the fell dragon awakened. Why do I feel so empty? Auf wen? Das war ja viel Schaden. Ich pfeife jetzt auf dich, ich muss aus diesem Gebiet raus. Genau den hätte ich eventuell noch gebrauchen können. Ah, ich habe Louis gerade so noch rausbekommen. So, wir stehen alle an einem Fleck. Ich will nicht dort stehen. was unsettling. Had I been standing there, I would have certainly perished. Nil seems to be drawing power from those he kills in this way. It may be worth the risk to reduce the number of foes on an island before it falls. Da rein. I hope this is enough. <lacht> Sieben Damage. Ja, 
Aua. Okay, Ivy zuerst. Okay, das galt offenbar nur für Hortensia und für Fogado. Bei den Rest ist es offenbar egal, mit wem ich umbringe. Gut zu wissen. Nodus. Das müsste eine äh, von denen dringend bei sich tragen. Also ich würde den Stab ja gerne nutzen, den ich gerade bekommen habe, ne? Aber den kann man nur mit S benutzen und keiner von meinen hat es. Right. So, tschüss, Al Chris. Vier im Leben ist schon mal vernichtet. Zwei sind noch da oben. Ah, da ist endlich der Giftzahn. Wo ist der letzte von denen? Warum sitzt du hier ganz unten in der Ecke? So, zumindest ein Feld konnte ich aufhalten. Mit irgendwem muss ich da unten hinrasen zu Temera. Das heißt, ab dem Punkt teile ich auf. Oh, das tut jetzt bestimmt weh. Gut, dass ich ein paar Stärkungsstäbe dabei habe. Die werde ich brauchen. Nein, aus. Timera kann da drüber rennen? Hä? Na gut, ich, äh, ich mache einfach mit Celestia sie fertig. Passt schon. Dich schnitt ich jetzt über den Haufen. Mit dem Rest sprint ich dann jetzt nach oben. Nur noch die beiden da oben fehlen gleich. Du Misting nervst. Wieso triffst du? hat wehgetan. Der Plan was Fieses. So, dir gebe ich jetzt Tore und dann bist du weg. Nur noch zwei. Was für eine traurige Welt das hier einfach ist. Mir reißt wir dir, du dummes Mistvieh. Ich weiß schon, warum ich Tachen hasse. Ich 
get stronger until no one can beat me. Die gehen einen so auf die Nerven. Okay, der will da hoch. Fiesling. Um Himmels Willen, wenn ihr wüsstet, was für ein Kampf das gerade war, alle zu retten, ne? Also es sollte keiner mehr in dem Bereich stehen. War so eine knappe Kiste. Also den Rettungsstab, den habe ich gerade richtig stark verbraucht. Ich gucke, dass ich die Einheiten, die kaum Bewegungsfähigkeiten äh, haben, äh, am Rand von diesen Bereichen stehen lasse. Die haben sonst echte Schwierigkeiten. Da kommt noch einer, der Magie abbekommt. Der Hammer rentiert sich. Oh, Celine und äh, Alfred kommen mir entgegen. Ja. Ein von euch kann ich wegschießen. Aus dem Weg. Ich lasse Celine äh, sicherheitshalber zu mir kommen. Bis mein Speer, Alfred. So, nach dir ist nur noch eine da. Es ist so mega traurig. So, ich konnte sogar zwei Felder blockieren. Daneben. Okay. Okay, Leute, da der Hausbruch gerade so extrem heftig war, habe ich äh, hier ein bisschen umstrukturiert. Der Hausbruch, der bringt mich ja instant um. Steht gerade so in, äh, in Reichweite, dass ich mich angreifen kann, aber nicht den Hausbruch nutzen kann. Ja, den Text kennen wir ja schon. Ja, die mich das gesehen hatten, äh, wie viel Schaden das macht, wie ich nicht riskieren, dass das nochmal eine abbekommt. 
Dafür ist das zu heftig. Louis eventuell könnte das überleben. Aber keiner von den anderen. Oh, wie gut. Einer von den Gegnern blockiert eins dieser äh, Felder da. Richtig gut. Ja, die Animation dauert immer ewig. Hauskomo macht halt einfach 65. Tschüss. Okay, ich hoffe, jetzt ist der wirklich schwächer. Ne, fühlt sich nicht so an. Ja, wie soll ich denen dann Schaden machen? Ich habe jetzt wirklich alle Embleme vernichtet, oder? Ne, da oben ist noch Diamant. Habe ich ja gar nicht gesehen. Dunkler Kana. Auch schon wieder so eine ewig lange Schlacht, ne? Also bei mir zumindest. Ich hoffe, ich liege wirklich damit richtig, dass wenn ich jetzt Diamant besiege dass der seine hohe Abwehr und so weiter verliert. So, Angriff. Die zwei wissen sich schon zu verteidigen gegen die drei hier. Entschuldigung, die zwei. Ja, ich stehe da nicht. Alles gut. Das fehlen, Ruhe, du Mistding. Sehr schön. Ja, wir wissen, wie das ausgeht. Könnte Diamant mir bitte entgegenkommen? Tut er nicht. Ach komm. Das war unnötig. Weg mit dir, du Mistding. So, Diamant schon mal schädigen. So, ich poker jetzt mal. Ich mach mal überreiten. Sicher ist sicher. Und vernichte mal Diamant. Und poker einfach, dass die anderen beiden dann mit verschwinden. Okay, ich habe jetzt alle Embleme eigentlich vernichtet. Es scheint keinen Unterschied zu machen.
Na dann, Zellika. Ich verprüge dich. Aber wie soll ich dem Ding dann Schaden machen? Ja, komm, ruhig ran. Hier vorne wird ein bisschen Fläche vernichtet. So, ich nutze das teleport und greife den Drachen hier oben damit an. Weg mit dir. Dann ist der vom Tisch. So, tschüss, Marv. Jetzt stehen hier wirklich keine Embleme mehr rum. Doch, wartet jetzt hier. Guckt, er kriegt endlich Schaden. Es hat was gebracht, die Embleme zu vernichten. Okay, ich will aber trotzdem eben kurz noch warten. Ich will das mit W zusammen beenden. Äh, nee, eigentlich müssen wir das mit Nell machen. So, ich bin bereit. Ach, hier in dem Bereich, den kann er nicht zerstören. Okay, gut. Something was left behind over there. It seems harmless, but perhaps we should investigate. <lacht> Tschüss. Jetzt ist nur noch Nil da. So, Nell, wir beide zusammen. Wir beenden den Scheiß hier. So, ich muss ein bisschen vorschwächen. Do you miss your old world? Pity. There is no going back. Not after you dare to defy me. So ein bisschen damit drücke ich so. You. I am shocked you are not fleeing an abject terror right now. Does that mean you are brave enough to accept death? I will give you a swift and painless one. If you're gonna kill me, make it hurt. It wouldn't be fair if I'm the only one who got to die easily. It must have hurt so much. Mavir must have been so scared. But here I am, safe and sound. Okay, ich müsste mit den anderen beiden auch noch mal ihn angreifen. I'm here. Naja, er macht wieder seinen Kackstrahl. Autschen. Ich frage mich, ob der auch was zu sagen hat, wenn Mauvier ihn angreift. Nee. Okay, dann spule ich zurück.
Ja, bei Celestia hast du bestimmt was zu melden. Behold and tremble in fear, Celestia. This is the might of a true dragon. Lord Nil, as a fellow dragon, I must admit that form is impressive. But while you won't require anyone's help this way, you will come to feel isolated in time. Having no one by your side is not as liberating as you might think. You can still reconsider. I feel nothing of the sort. Perhaps it is you who is lonely. For want of your lost wind, I will gladly send you after him. Mavir, you fool. I was willing to die there with you. But still, thank you. I'll use this gift well. It's because of what you did that I have the will to face you. You won't take anything else. I'm here. <lacht> Aua. So. Ich hab's geschafft, sie ist in Reichweite. Meine Lieben, wirf endlich deinen Tomahawk. So, Mavir is dead. That must mean you are hungry for blood. Help yourself to some of mine if you can. Before I spill all of yours. I don't hold a grudge against you. Nor do I wish I could undo what's happened. I'm a knight, like my mentor before me. And I'll accept what's come to pass. You mean to say you bear me no ill will? Is that some kind of pitiful attempt at humor? It wasn't you who killed Mavir. He laid down his own life to protect us. And in memory of that sacrifice, I'm going to put a stop to your scheme. That is justice. And that is what he would want. I'll help. So, und es gibt eine Person, die das hier beenden muss. Eine einzige. Yes. Zeit für den Bündnisschlag und das hier zu beenden. Your form reminds me of Sombron. I suppose this must be how it felt for you, watching me transform. Spare me your pity and presumptions. You were born with everything. We are not the same. You will never understand me, not even if you have thousands of years to contemplate. Our time together as twins was a far shorter interval than that. And yet, it was more than enough time for me to learn how much I care about you. Do not do this, Nil. Do not return things to the way they were with Sombron. Please. I cannot bear the thought of losing you. Das war's. With the divine dragon. I am defeated. This cannot be. Father. Father. The bracelets. Where did they go? They disperse when their duty is done. Then I guess this is goodbye. Why? Why? Even with the power of the bracelets, why am I no match for you? Perhaps you see it now. The path Sombron laid out for you was never the right one. If I cannot carry out Father's wishes, then my existence serves no purpose. All my life I have sought to be valued, only to discover that I am truly worthless. I will never be like you. You are not worthless. You are my irreplaceable twin brother. We are two halves of a whole. Ridiculous. I already told you I am not nil. I know. Not nil? What does that mean? I don't understand. What happened to the real nil? He died in battle a thousand years ago. Shortly after Nell gave him her Dragonstone, he wanted nothing more than to make his sister proud. And who are you? A fell dragon whose twin perished when I was too young to remember it. I was a lone child, with no abilities to distinguish me, surrounded by pairs of twins, until I met Nell. My mirror image. The resemblance between us was uncanny. 
and we discovered we had much else in common. We were inseparable for a time. And I was all too happy to have something like a real brother. He was my other half. <sighs> that was how I felt, at least. But for him, there could be no replacement for Nell when I found him on the battlefield, breathing his last. His only thoughts were of her. He gave me her dragonstone and said that he wished Nell would never have to grieve. For that reason, he asked me to take his place. So you became Nell? I made it appear as if I had been the one to die that day. In a way, I was. There would be no one to mourn my passing. Father would not even notice. I'm having trouble believing all of this. Believe it. I am an imposter. You should not hesitate to kill me. I brought this world to the brink of ruin. If you allow me to live, I will do it again. Let that be your reason, if nothing else. What say you, Nell? I knew you were not Nell from the start. What? I have known about his death for a long time. I saw through your ruse from the beginning. I simply chose not to confront you about it. You took his place for his sake, and for mine. That was an act of kindness. We may not have been born as twins. But I have always thought of you as my other half. Then... you are a fool! Say what you will. I speak the truth. You will recall how we visited the burial site at Letho's castle to say our farewells. You may not have seen that I left a pressed flower there. It was Nell's. I was not saying goodbye only to the Divine Dragon that day. You were saying it to Nell, too. I carried that flower for a long time. I suppose some part of me was unable to move on. Despite that, you became very dear to me. Your companionship saved me from loneliness and despair. I was happy to be a sister to you. I will always cherish our time together. Even if you do not feel the same, without you, I would never have been able to continue fighting all this time. I trusted you above all others, believed in you with all my heart. The only proof that we are not true twins is that I failed to sense your actual intentions. Perhaps. I confess, I have longed to hear you say such things. They make fine parting words. Are you ready? Yes. Thank you. For everything. Goodbye, Nell. Goodbye. Stop! What are you doing? Nell! There is another way to end your pain. Once I am gone, you will be free. For my part, I would rather die than lose anyone else. No! If only I had realized sooner. I could have prevented this. Seeing Nell and my divine dragon again may be too much to hope for. But even so, I will rest well knowing your pain is at an end. Why would you do this? I deserve this fate, not you. You should have killed me. I could not bear to lose a second brother. For that is what you are to me, despite it all. Before I go, will you tell me your name? Lady Nell! No! Please, no! She's... She's gone. No last words of reproach. No regret for her own passing. All she wanted... was to know my name. <laughs> Rafal, sister. My name is Rafal. Rafal. How did I forget myself? 
Nil asked me to look after his sister. That was his dying wish. But it was not merely his wish. It was also mine. All I wanted, all I really wanted, was to be her other half. When did I forget those feelings? You said this would be the end of my pain, Nell. But it is not. How could it ever be? I sense something. The Dragonstone pieces, they have a strange energy about them. That is Sombron's magic. Could it be that he cast a spell on that Dragonstone? To sow the seeds of hatred in the heart of Lord Nil? Uh, Rafal, Dragonstones are destroyed by the death of their owner. Lady Nell died to break the spell. Sombron made it so that you two would fight each other instead of conspiring against him. Nonsense. You mean to say that it was just some spell? That all should be forgiven? Ridiculous! Regardless of Sombron's influence, I am responsible for my own actions. I chose to do what I did. It was what I wanted. I will not allow anyone else to shoulder my blame. Not even father. <sighs> I sought power and I attained it. Even now, I have no regrets about that. I only wish that I could have kept the promise I made to Nell. <sighs> Divine One. What is it? I have heard that dragons of great power can impart their life force unto others. Do you suppose that is true? Yes. My mother did that for me. But it took a thousand years before I woke up. Then I will do the same. I will revive now. Even if it takes me just as long, I will dwell in this empty world alone. In the hope that she will one day rise, perhaps that will be a fitting punishment for what I have done. And perhaps, if and when you wake, we may truly become two halves of a home. You will. No. You already are. Is that so? Rafal, after Nell wakes up, why don't you come live with me in my Elios? What? I have a feeling you'd be able to travel there from here in the Somniel. It's hard to explain, but I can sense my world right now. It feels closer. Yes. It would seem that a path to other worlds lies open. Perhaps it is due to the bracelets. I did wish to grant my father's desire, if the conquest of other worlds was part of his plan. But I believe it is as you said. It should be possible to move between worlds from here. Then I'll grant you both my protection so you can travel there, when you're ready. The Somniel can't be entered without my blessing as a divine dragon. So come find me. That invitation is open, however long it takes for you to accept it. You would make an ally of the one who so recently tried to kill you? If you are asking me here and now, then my answer is certainly no. That said, a thousand years is a long time. I will say this. If, by some miracle, Nell awakens and finds it in her heart to forgive me, then, and only then, will I journey to you. I understand. Now, there is nothing more to say. Leave me. As you wish. I hope to see you again, though. Lord Rafal? Yes? Despite all that's happened, I am grateful for the time we shared. I hope that we'll meet as allies again. Your kindness is wasted on me. Here we are, back at Letho's castle. It feels as if we've been gone for ages. <laughs> so much has happened since I first met Nell and Nil here. The kings and queens, the emblems, they're all gone. Yes, and Mavir too. <sighs> what should we do now? Beats me. Every nation's lost its rulers. And probably their whole populations by now. I guess we could try to rebuild. Or each grab an empty throne and call ourselves rulers. Rulers with no subjects. 
I fear we have little to do but bide our time until... the end. What if you came with me? Divine One? This world is beyond saving. You said it yourselves. There's no one left. I'm just a visitor. I have to go back before long. But if I leave you behind, I can't even be sure how long you'll survive. It would mean throwing yourselves into battle again. But still, I hope you'll consider it. Sounds pretty good to me. Better than twiddling our thumbs to the grave, at least. I say we go. A new world might mean scary new enemies and dangers. But still... It's an appealing proposal, but... I'm not sure. I wonder what Mavier would say. Would he forgive us? What do you mean? We are his family, and if we go, he'll be left here all alone. It doesn't seem fair. Why should we be the lucky ones? Why do we deserve this? Deserve what? To be happy? Madeline, what's the last thing that the big guy, that Mavir, said to you? He said he wished me the greatest happiness. There you have it. He'd probably tell you to look forward, not back. Even if it means leaving him behind. You don't get to speak for him. You didn't know him like I did. I knew him pretty darn well. We spent a ton of time together. We were practically brothers. Anyway, you gotta admit, he wouldn't want you sulking forever. <sighs> I know. Mavir would tell me to go. To try and be happy without him. <laughs> Go ahead and cry, Madeline. There hasn't been time to mourn him since... it happened. I'm sorry. You were born into this world, and I'm asking you to put it behind you. But if it makes any difference, I spoke to Rafal. He's planning to come as well, one day. You could wait for him with me. Divine One, I share Madeline's struggle. It feels wrong to be the only ones going, to leave our lord and lady behind. I understand. But, instead of languishing here, we could go to a world where our skills can be of use. And after everything that's happened, I find it difficult to turn down your request. We have been through so much together. Yes, we have. I'm inclined to go. Do the two of you feel the same? Yep. I agree. Then from now on, the remaining winds will swear our loyalty to you as your attendants. We will go with you, Divine One. I'm glad. I look forward to spending more time with all of you. The feeling is mutual. All right. Remember, you two. We have to work hard as the Four Winds, even in another world. What? We're not calling ourselves the Three Winds now? You knew the answer before you even asked. We four are a family, and we'll always be together. Nothing can change that. All right, everyone. Let's go. Nell, Rafal, I'll see you again someday. Thank you, my fellow Divine Dragon. I pray your future is filled with hope and love, and please, take good care of them for me. Ja, Leute, das war das DLC, ne? Ein sehr spannendes DLC. Jetzt haben wir die drei Winde, naja, vier Winde, unter unserem Kommando, haben sich uns angeschlossen in unserer Welt. Die Embleme sollte ich, glaube ich, auch jetzt bekommen. Das sind auf jeden Fall sehr schöne Bilder.
Aber ich frage mich jetzt äh, wirklich, was ich jetzt alles tatsächlich bekomme. Kriege ich jetzt auch Nell und Rafal? Oder sind es nur die drei Winde? Ne, wir sehen das ja alles gleich. Ich halte noch mal kurz die Klappe. Ja, haben wir es ja. Die drei haben sich mir angeschlossen. Ah, the weather's so beautiful today. That bright blue sky feels like a good omen. I could not agree more. Uh, Nell, Rafal, I didn't expect to see you so soon. It has been some time, Divine One. For me, it has been a thousand years. But Nell has returned. And we have come as promised. My sister and I are at your disposal. Welcome to you both. It really is a lovely morning. Und da haben sich die anderen beiden mir angeschlossen. Eine mystische Tasche und eine Magiekanone? Kann man jeden zu so einem Kanonier machen? Verzauberer. Ach, das war das, wodurch die sich geboostet hatten. Ja, und die Magiekanonier hatte ich ja gesehen. Ja, aber wie ist das jetzt mit den Emblemen? Durfte ich die wirklich nur sehen oder habe ich die jetzt auch? Nee, ich besitze sie nicht. Ich, ich suche gerade hier einen von denen mal. Hier steht Rafal rum. Beim Brunnen. Da ist er ja. Nell würde ich auch gerne nochmal sehen, bevor ich hier... Ah. Okay. Bei mir steht da oben, die ganze Zeit am Aussichtspunkt wurde etwas gefunden. Ich renne einmal zum Aussichtspunkt. Und wenn da jetzt äh, nicht die Embleme auf mich warten, dann äh, keine Ahnung. Dann, dann dürfte ihr es mir in die Kommentare schreiben.
Divine One, we discovered this mysterious bracelet in Southern Pyrene. There appear to be more of them enshrined on the islands off the coast. We should investigate. There's an emblem inside this bracelet, all right. The presence inside is complicated, but I think I have the invocation. Lead us! Emblem of Rivals! Finally, we're free. I am Emblem Edelgard. Pleased to meet you. I am Emblem Dimitri. I uh, guess that makes me Emblem Claude. Hi there. That must have been a crowded bracelet. Oh, sorry, I should introduce myself. I'm the Divine Dragon. You're obviously not from Elios. May I ask what you're doing here? Until recently, we were the guardians of another world. It seems we were moved somehow. I get the feeling you've come to give me some sort of test. No need for that. You were able to summon us. That is enough. And your timing is excellent. We were just growing weary of each other's conversation. Speak for yourself. I thought Dimitri's stories were getting better with every telling. Yes, the sarcastic interruptions kept increasing too. Coincidence, I'm sure. You three all seem to be... Really comfortable with each other. Appearances can be deceiving. Really, Edelgard? She's kidding. You can tell because her face looks exactly the same as when she's serious. <laughs> we have always been in competition. It will be refreshing to join forces. I should explain. We were all students at the Officers Academy, but we led different houses. That's what you meant by competition. Yes. We only truly came together for special events, like the Battle of the Eagle and Lion. A traditional mock battle between the houses, to celebrate one another's strengths. The real celebration was afterward. Our festivities got rather exuberant that night. Dimitri looks pretty straight-laced, but don't let him fool you. Between you and me, he's like a force of destruction at a party. I'm surprised they didn't expel his whole house for those shenanigans. <laughs> Must have been quite a night. You only just met him, so you can't tell if he's joking. Just ignore half of everything he says. Come on, be fair. At least a third of what I say is worth hearing. You do know a third is less than half, right? I see we've gained some dependable allies. Professor, you're here as well? Now I truly feel motivated. What an honor it will be to fight by your side. If you're that honored, I'll have to make sure I'm at my best. This little reunion reminds me of the day we first met the Professor. You mean that night our camp was attacked by bandits? <laughs> That's right. Only now, Claude won't be able to make any strategic retreats. I guess we are sort of stuck together now, aren't we? I hate to say it, but we'll need to learn to get along better if we're fighting on the same side. Yes, you will. True. None of us can do all that we must on our own. But together, as part of this army, I think defeat is inconceivable. Maybe I sound arrogant, but I'm that confident in the skills our professor has taught us. Wouldn't you agree, my teacher? Of course. I am proud of you all. This time, let us fight together to the end. Let me say it formally. Our power is at your disposal. Please make the most of it. Victory will be ours. Have no fear. We are here to help. And if these two and their conventional tactics fail, maybe I'll show you a few tricks. That's all very reassuring. Thank you. I'll do my best to help the three of you work together.
Okay, da haben wir doch eins der Embleme. Emblem Edelgard wechselt sich zufällig mit Dimitri und Claude ab, was die im Kampfzugriff auf Hügelig voll unterschiedliche Fertigkeiten beschert. Die Synchrofähigkeit Strategem verfügt äh, je nach aktiven Haussprecher über verschiedene Effekte. Bündniswaffe in mir kann Gegner Schmetterschaden und Drachen zusätzlichen Schaden zufügen. Die Bündnisfähigkeit Kampftechniken gewährt Zugriff auf einen von drei Angriffen auf Kosten der verbleibenden Bündniszüge. Ja, und Hauskrummer habe ich ja schon gesehen. Boah, vor allem gegen Flieger effektiv. Jetzt ist die Frage, sind das auch noch zusätzliche Missionen, die ich jetzt machen muss? Ich, ich reiß noch einmal kurz zur Karte. Da ist eine Reise. Weltkarte göttliche Kapitel. Mit Hilfe des Weltkartenmenüs kannst du zum Somni oder zu der Weltkarte der Hauptstory zurückkehren. Auf Karten, die du bereits abgeschlossen hast, können von Zeit zu Zeit Gefechte erscheinen. Das sind nochmal zusätzliche Kämpfe. Äh, sieben Embleme waren es. Edelgard und so weiter habe ich gerade geschenkt bekommen. Das heißt, nochmal sechs Missionen. Na gut, ich hatte eigentlich gedacht, ich wäre jetzt mit dem Spiel fertig. Aber offenbar habe ich noch mal was vor mir. Na gut, Leute. Ich würde aber dann trotzdem sagen, dass das was hier jetzt an der Stelle war. Ich sage an der Stelle mal, ich hoffe, dass es euch allen gefallen hat. Wenn ja, ein Abo und ein Like da lassen. Und wir sehen uns beim nächsten Mal wieder. Ciao und bis dann.